Good morning. Very nice. Feeling okay this morning, thank you. Um, thanks for all the updates and the comments we've been getting. They've been very informative and very useful and uh, learning a lot about our good friends in uh, Australia, US and many other places um, in a similar state to the UK. Um, two pieces of news, one gets the headlines and one you won't find practically anywhere, maybe later, but at the moment nothing. Our dear Prime Minister is suffering. I'm very worried about Boris. He's not in a good state, physically suffering and receiving almost the intensive care that his condition symptoms require. And the nation, the world, Donald Trump are all very worried about dear old Boris. And it's top of the headlines and everyone's talking about it. And of course, as a human being, I wish him full recovery and full health. Um, uh, same right as uh, the UK citizens are demanding, so they can get tested and receive the best treatment in the world, should they uh, 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 suffer adversely. And the other piece of news that you won't find in the headlines um, so far, is that there is a case management hearing at Westminster Magistrates Court for Julian Assange and um, further nonsense they're preaching, further hate and bile from the US prosecutors being enforced for a trial date that's supposed to be on the 18th of May. Um, Having already denied Julian Assange bail, uh, Judge Barrester and uh, Overlord Chief Magistrate Arbuthnot won't be letting Julian Assange free today because they're not going to dismiss the nonsense that is the American case, not only violating national jurisdictions, not only violating national and international law that he is guilty of this data theft and so-called espionage, something from a hundred years ago used to beat down the pacifists and the anti-war movement in 1917 in the US of A. So today they will be looking at the evidence handling etc and what should have been handed in and what needs to be handed in prior to May the 18th, not that long away at this moment. My feeling is that um, whatever any reasonable demands or requests are made by the defence will be dismissed and whatever outrageous, illegal nonsense the American prosecutors and their English minions uh, will be upheld. That is the history of Judge Barista's past rulings. So uh, I will try and do an update later today, just to keep you up to date. The court hearing starts at 10 o'clock, which is about 30 minutes away. And uh, hopefully we'll get some support in the court itself, in the public gallery, from several uh, committee members for the committee to defend Julian Assange um, and others. Hopefully there will be some journalists, we don't know. Um, the Guardian does occasionally send a journalist to the court hearings and, uh, in deep disguise with a fake beard and uh, so do uh, a lot of the independent uh, uh, media outlets, uh, the foreign media outlets, who will try, I'm sure, to get their journalists uh, to report the case on the ground. Um, I'll leave it at that and uh, hopefully whatever the defence are asking, I hope they get a better hearing than they have in the past. Uh, EF Press, in the garden, very nice.